Acting uh, Deputy President, uh, I too support this motion uh, and believe that we need a Royal Commission into COVID. Uh, I'd also like a Senate inquiry into uh, COVID as well. Uh, but anyway, I'll take whatever I can get at this stage. Uh, because there are a number of issues that need to be addressed in this. And first of all is the origins of COVID itself. Uh, we had Anthony Fauci come out uh, the day before Trump's inauguration and said that there would be a, uh, an outbreak, a surprise outbreak throughout Trump's term. Uh, this same person then uh, colluded uh, with none other than some Australians, uh, one Ed Holmes from Sydney University, uh, with the view to actually cover up uh, the origins of the coronavirus. So we need to look at that as well, whether or not coronavirus was deliberately made. Was there a deliberate cover-up? Uh, we then need to look at the diagnostic tool, the PCR testing. Uh, we need to determine which part of the COVID sequence was actually used to indicate a positive return. Uh, there's 29,000 proteins in the coronavirus. Uh, 20 29 proteins, 29,000 nucleotides. We need to know the length of the nucleotides uh, and that sequence uh, to, that was used in the PCR test to determine uh, whether or not COVID was positive. We also need to look at why the cycle threshold was set to 40, not 28. Uh, we also then need to look at why the World Health Organisation told uh, national health authorities to code everything uh, that came back with a positive, every death that came back with a positive COVID test to actually COVID and not some other form of disease. So, for example, people could have had comorbidities and were dying from other comorbidities, but the World Health Organization said that you have to actually put that to COVID, uh, which obviously would have bumped up the uh, number of COVID deaths. Uh, we also need to look at the role of the media uh, and, in particular, uh, the way they've ramped up the fear-mongering in, in regards to COVID. We need to look at the censorship that was involved with COVID. Anyone that questioned the narrative of COVID was censored. Uh, that's not the way science is conducted. Uh, science should always be open to scrutiny, so we need to look at the censorship there. We need to look at the role the state premiers played with their daily press conferences. Who can remember the Queensland Premier with her classic statement, there's COVID in the sewerage, be scared everybody. That sort of insanity needs to stop and cannot be allowed to ever happen again. Uh, we need to consider why we bought 300 ma uh, million vaccines, 12 doses for every man, woman and child in this country, when at the same time we were told that uh, two doses were enough. We dropped over $8 billion on these vaccines. We could have spent, bought $75 million, spent $2 billion and saved $6 billion for frontline services, including maternity wards in my hometown of Chinchilla. Uh, we also need to look at uh, why 10 million people caught COVID after the borders were opened up. We were told the public assessment report said COVID was approved, the vaccine was approved to stop infection. Yet 10 million people caught COVID in the year after opening up. It did not work, and we need to ask ourselves why the pharmaceutical uh, companies got away with it. Time has expired. Thank you, uh, Senators. This being an urgency motion, it will come to a vote. So I put the question. Those in support of the UAP urgency motion uh, say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes. Order. There being 28 ayes and 29 noes, the matter is resolved in the negative. Authorised G. Rennick, LNP Chermside.